<laughs> oh, good morning. Good morning. The title for today is Only Love Can Heal Our Fears. That was the message I heard upon awakening this morning and pondered in nearly two hours of meditation before coming to the computer. Yesterday for me was a day of intense focus as I was up against a deadline to prepare my response to the court. Once again, there were people pulling at me for attention and I had to consciously choose not to get sidetracked again as was happening all this past week. People approach me with legal issues, health issues, relationship issues, money problems, and virtually every concern known to man. <laughs> we live and have our experience in a world of fear, an acronym for which is false evidence appearing real. That is certainly appropriate in the legal realm where everything is color of law pretending to be actual law. But it is also true when dealing with those other issues we face in human life. With Valentine's Day only days away, I am reminded of the saying from the Bible, perfect love casts out fear. I have felt that perfect love sweep over me, and so I imagine of you. I am coming to realize more and more that only love can heal our fears. Can you see that yet? Over the past couple of days, I've shared two things that were shared with me. Yesterday, the link to an article or a poem or a writing that was sent to me by Nanari. If you want to change the world, love a woman, really love her. And the day before, if you want to change the world, love a man, really love him. I'm going to add one that nobody sent me. If you want to change the world, love yourself right where you are all of your weaknesses, all of your fears, all of your foibles, all of your idiosyncrasies, all of your <laughs> all of your issues, all of your baggage, all of your BS. <laughs> we all must love ourselves where we are and we must be willing to stand in our own truth even when standing in our own truth hurts somebody else and becomes painful for another person and pushes their buttons and raises their issues to the surface so that they get yet another opportunity to choose love over fear. Fear creates defense mechanisms of every sort. We withdraw, we restrict, we contract whenever we feel fear. That is the natural reaction to fear. That's what fear's job is, to make us do that, to make us draw in so that we can focus on what's really going on in us. But most of us try to push that off and brush it away. And Well, I don't want to deal with that. I want to be positive. <laughs> I want to be positive. <laughs> like we can make it stop. We can only delude ourselves that we can make it stop. We can only live in denial. Oftentimes, many of our spiritual practices are nothing but denial. And much of what we call love is simply a mask that we wear, a mask that conceals from other, that we attempt to conceal from others our truth, and we try to even conceal it from ourselves. But it keeps getting through. We live in a world that is fear-based. And as I said, the legal system is rife with it. They create color of law to avoid the law. <laughs> literally, literally, that's what our court system, that's what our judicial system does. It creates color of law, which is based not on all sorts of legal fabrications and legal means 
fabrication to me. It's not law. It's legal. And it's a contrived law. It's color of law. It's not the truth. And you've heard the saying, I believe, the truth, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. But our justice system isn't based on truth. And this is what I had to come to as I wrestled to try to communicate with the court the things that I perceive as reality when I'm not doing it within the confines of their rules and codes and requirements. I'm trying to communicate to get through their heads and their hearts so that they understand the responsibility they have to justice. <laughs> not just a mask that says it's the center of justice, like the courts say. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a center of injustice because it's not based on truth. They say that I made lots of allegations and gave lots of opinions, but I didn't present facts. Well, the truth of the matter is I did present facts. They're called affidavits that are unrebutted. They are facts, but they're not facts in the context that they see them. And that's what's wrong in our world today. Our communication doesn't get through to each other because we frame it in a different context. And that's what fear does to keep us separated from the only thing that can heal us. The love that can actually liberate us. The love that we give to ourselves. The love that we share with another. The love that a man and a woman share with each other in a very, in the most intimate of all relationships that is shared on every level. And fear blocks that from occurring in our society. It's been going on forever, manifesting as the battle of the sexes, manifesting as men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Like we don't talk the same language. And in many re respects, we don't because our fear blocks us from accepting and embracing the only thing that can actually set us free. We want so badly not to hurt. And so we think that by pretending we don't hurt, that it'll go away. But it doesn't. It keeps coming back until we listen. Look, is that not what's been happening with me in my legal issues? Is that, not, is that not what's happening to you that are facing financial problems? Does it not just keep coming back and coming back and coming back again? If you're facing health issues, is that not something that you're finally able to listen to? We become so rigid and so fixed in the way we think we're supposed to handle it that we don't let our minds and our hearts expand to let in other possibilities, other ways of seeing it other perceptions. We're stuck holding the tail of the elephant thinking it's a rope. Where if we move just a little bit to the left or to the right, we'd find it's a trunk when we hold and touch the leg. And then it's a wall when we touch the side of the element of the elephant. And then we get around to the front and it's a spear when we touch its tusk. And a hose when we touch its trunk. Hmm. How far are you willing to expand out of your present point of view and allow love in to erase your fears by healing them, by helping you see that it's just false evidence? Yes, you're standing there holding the tail and it feels like a rope. That's true. I mean, it really is. That's true. It feels like a rope and that's your reality. That's your truth. And you, But if you stand there and you defend, no, it's a rope when somebody else is telling you, no, it's a tree. You're not, you're still staying in the false evidence appearing real. You're still thinking that your current perspe pers perspective, your current point of view is the only right one. It's not, not mine, not any of us. There are other points of view. And while we must be willing to stand in our truth, we must also be flexible enough to allow other points of view in and to allow us to move outside of our comfort zone so we can experience the other points of view for ourselves. That's love. We're moving into love. Love, instead of 
Fear contracts us. Instead of contracting us, love is trying to get us to expand and move outward. Always going beyond where we now are so that we can become bigger than we now perceive ourselves to be. God, Spirit, the universe, cosmos wants us to become whole. It can't give us that on a silver platter. It can't give us that with a magic uh, pill or a silver bullet. It can only give us that as we are willing to embrace something more than what we thought we were able to embrace. Till we are willing to expand and let love in and push out those contracted walls and push off that armor that we build up to protect ourselves so that we don't get hurt again. But we do get hurt again and again and again. We get hurt over and over because we think that we're right. It's not about being right. It's about being willing to go beyond being right. Stand in your truth, yes, but recognize that truth is bigger than any point of view that you're looking at right now, that you're experiencing right now. Love can heal all the elements of fear, every single one of them, the legal issues, the health issues, the money issues, the relationship issues, it can heal them all, all of them, when we are willing to move beyond the place where we're imprisoned right now, the perceptions that have us bound right now. It's not, it's not easy, but it is simple. That's, I guess, the way that I wanted to say it. It's not easy because we're so rigid, because we're so dense, because we're so fixated on, on a single point of view. It's time to not just wake up, but to move out of our walls that we've protected to be boundaries that protect us because instead of protecting us, they've often imprisoned us. I apologize to those people that were pulling at me yesterday and wanting my attention for putting you off, for not picking up the phone when I was sitting right here listening to your message. When I wasn't responding to your emails. I'm sorry, but some things I have to focus on. When I have legal issues, I have to focus on the legal issue and see it through. Because that's my response ability. I'm responding to what is in front of me that is necessary because it's part of my healing. It is part of dealing with the issue that's before me with love, which means sometimes hurting other people and saying, no, I can't do that right now. I can't be here for you right now because I have to be here for me. I have a strong tendency wanting to help everybody else and, and to heal the world that sometimes I ignore and put aside the things that I need to do for me. And we all do that, I think most of us anyway, a lot of us. We, we have a tendency to do that. Sometimes we just have to take inventory and take stock and say, no, I need to, I need to put some love in here. I need, to, I need to focus some attention on where I am so that I can overcome this fear. And I can love myself enough to tell others, no, not right now. Not right now. I can't, I can't help you right now because I have an issue that I have to deal with for me. We'll always have the opportunity later to help others. That's part of living in a society such as we live in. It is a give and take society. The tide comes in, the tide goes out. It gets daytime comes and nighttime falls. And it's all a cycle of life and love is the answer. Love is all we really need and love does heal our fears. 
when we allow it to. I love you. Yes. I love us all. Namaste. Namaste.